Go Hi, first. I'm Kim. And I'm Dan, and we're the vision team from REMAX Marketing Specialists. And this is the fourth part of a little series we've been doing, primarily geared toward those that are trying to sell their home themselves. However, anything we discuss is good for anybody thinking about entering into a real estate transaction. So uh, I hope you're enjoying it and I hope you're getting something out of it. As I'm speaking to you today, the market in real estate is absolutely outrageous. It is driving realtors, lenders, buyers, sellers a little bit cuckoo because it's so competitive. The bottom line is there's just not enough houses to sell. So there is an extreme shortage. There is a massive amount of buyers because interest rates are so low and you're foolish not to buy when the interest rates are this low. So how do you take a bunch of buyers to a small market and get them in? And what's happening is people are overpaying for houses just to get in the house. So now if you're selling a home by yourself, you're going to get all kinds of offers that I'm not sure you're going to be successfully able to shift through. Well, realtors have a better understanding as to what that price point should be and then what to expect. And if you, you might be short selling yourself, you don't know. We know you might not know. So we can help you in that way. And then you're going to get offers. I mean, let's say you have your house listed for 250000 You're going to get offers for 280000 But is it truly a $280,000 offer? you got to look at the contract to see. So now what we want to do, just to conclude this series, is talk about the transaction, or the transfer, rather, of the property. That's when you go to a title person. Uh, title people are going to be strict, uh, concise, and they're going to make sure that everything in that contract is fulfilled and they're going to make sure that the successful transfer of the property is legal and adequate. So therefore, if there are issues, are you prepared to handle them yourselves? If they do a title search, for instance, and goes back and somebody hasn't signed, it either has to go into probate or somebody has to clarify the problem before there is a legal transfer of the, of the property. Title people are not real estate agents. Title people just handle the search and transfer the property. If the contract is not filled out properly and you're missing paperwork, they're just going to send it back to you and it's not going to get the job done. It'd be worth, I know, it'd be worth paying somebody. If you didn't want to pay the 5% or 6%, at least go out and make yourself available to pay a buyer's commission, say two and a half percent or three percent. It would be worth it. It would be in your best interest. I know it's self-serving for us to talk like this, but we are honestly thinking about the difficulties and the problems that you will have. If you have any questions about the transfer of your property or the selling of your property, feel free to call us. You're not oblig obligated to have a phone conversation with us. So, Kim, how could they reach the vision team? They can call 352-238-0561. Thank you. Thanks for watching this series, and if you have any questions, give us a call.